All right, so guys, this is number six out of 11.3, and it says a multiple choice exam has five possible answers for each question. For each correct answer, you're awarded five points. For each incorrect answer, one point is subtracted from your score. For answers left blank, no points are added or subtracted. Okay, so part A says, if you do not know the correct answer to a particular question, is it your advantage, is it to your advantage to explain, to guess, I'm sorry, explain. So what we're looking for here, guys, again, we're dealing with expected value, right? So this is how we're going to do our expected value problem. We're going to take the problem, or the probability, I'm sorry, that we guess, I'm going to put a C for correctly, and then we're going to multiply it by our points, and then we're going to add the probability that we get it, I'll put W for wrong, okay? And we're going to multiply that by the points that we're going to be subtracting, right? Okay, so let's see, we have five answers, right? So I'm gonna do this over here on the next slide. So the probability that we get it right is one out of five, right? Because there's five answers, only one of them is gonna be correct. Now, if we guess correctly, we're gonna get five points, okay? So I'm gonna multiply this by five over one. Now, the probability that we're gonna get this wrong, if there's five choices, only one of them is right, that means that the other four answers are gonna be wrong and for every wrong choice, one point is subtracted. So that's actually going to be a negative one, right? All right. Again, guys, I always do my fractions over one. Even though they're the points, I always put them over one. Simply because I know that looks like a T. I don't mean for it to look like a T. It's supposed to be a 5 over 1. The reason I do that is when I'm multiplying, my denominators are now going to be the same, right? So look, I'm going to do the bottom part. That's going to give me a 5, because 5 times 1 is 5. Now we're going to multiply the top, so that's going to give me a 5. This is going to give me a minus 4. So my expected value is 1 fifth or 0.20, okay? So when I come back over here, and is it our advantage to guess or not guess? It is going to be advantage to guess because... The expectation is going to be a positive 0.20, right? So look, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back over here, and I'm going to say yes. And it looks like they're actually asking me to write a fraction. So I think as a fraction, we ended up with one-fifth. Okay, so let me do that. And we got it, okay? Now, let's do the second part, okay? So I'm going to come back to the problem. Here we go. And part B says, if we don't know the answer... But we know that one of the choices is not the right one. Is it to our advantage to guess? Okay, so now part B. When we're going to find our expected value. Remember, we had five choices, so I'm going to kind of make it up like this. Like I'm going to say our choices were A, B, C, D, and E, right? And we knew that one of those choices was not the right one. So like, for instance, we knew that that was not, there was no way that was going to be the answer. Now we only have four to choose from. So out of those four, one of them is correct. We're still going to get five points. So out of those four that are in, that are out of those four that we can choose, we know that one of them is correct. The other three would be incorrect. And remember, we're going to lose a point. Okay. So now again, I'm going to do the same thing here. Remember, look at my denominators, right? They're going to be the same. It's going to be four. So one times five is five. 3 times 1 is a minus 3, so this is 2 over 4, which we can reduce to 1 half, right? So again, we're coming up with a positive value, right? So is it to our advantage? It is because we're coming up with a positive value. So I'm going to say yes, it is, because our choice that we, our expected value, I'm sorry, ended up being 1 half, a positive value, and so we got the problem, okay? So if y'all have any questions, let me know, guys. I'm happy to help.